Hey guys, what's up and what's going down? How are you doing today? It's the Dizzy One here, back again, once again, with another NBA 2K21 video. And today we're taking on the all-time Celtics. You already know it's going to be a showdown as Baron Davis knocks down the opening shot of the game and my player David Zerbo attacking strong against Larry Bird and one. What a play from Zerbo. Kevin McHale has the smaller Baron Davis on him, but he goes up with a weak layup against the smaller defender, but Jalen Brown secures the basket for Boston. 12 to 7 the score as Baron Davis sees the pass all the way through, steals the ball, and Bill Russell returns the favor by snatching it right out of the air. That could have been a monster jam, but what a play by Bill Russell. Kuzi gives it to Kevin McHale again, but this time he's being guarded by the bigger, stronger Tom Chambers, and it doesn't matter. He knocks down the fadeaway jumper. The score is now 12 to 9 as Larry Bird pulls up from distance, ties the game up, and we are knotted at 14. Deladon with a three pointer as time expires. It's no good, but Yao is on the boards, and the putback is in, but sadly, it didn't count because time had already expired. Lamelo takes a shot and Lamelo misses. And Yao really wanted those two points to count. This time it's official. Two points for Yao Ming. Boston is definitely one of those teams that we may just end up facing in the playoffs because they are definitely stacked as Kemba Walker runs to the corner. What a pass, what a shot. That puts Boston up by one. Bob Cousy with a three, and it is good. What a shot by Bob Cousy. He's hit that a couple of times already from that exact same play, and it is a killer of a play. I don't know how we can stop it because it's just a perfect shot for him every single time, but Kobe was open for a couple of seconds. Tom Chambers, though, unable to find that pass. Luckily, we're able to get a three-pointer for ourselves, but Boston is still in the lead. Kobe gets a wide open look as Jalen Brown went under the screen and he tied the game up just like that. Heading into this game, I thought players like Larry Bird, Jason Tatum, or Paul Pierce would have been taking the majority of the shots, but here's that play again for Bob Cousy. 4-3, when it rains, it pours, and Bob Cousy adds to his total. What a shot. We may just need to add that to the playbook considering the caliber of shooters we have as Kobe just loves it for Zerbo. My player throws it down with a ferocity that hasn't been seen in a very long time. Baron Davis has three defenders around him. Zerbo pulls up for two and it's good. We bring that lead back down to one. What a game as Bob Cousy brings the ball up. He has been the gentle killer. No matter what he does, it's turned into gold. A layup on the other end. What a play from Bob Cousy. One of the forefathers of basketball, making an impact in this current era as Zerbo spins baseline up and around Jason Tatum for the slam. And Cousy gets rejected by Tom Chambers. A wise pass by Baron Davis. An even better pass by Kobe. And the rookie, my player David Zerbo, reverse slam over two defenders. They run the exact same play for Bob Cousy again, but he was just too wide open as Zerbo stops and pops over Larry Bird. Basket, and we take the lead. Hopefully we don't give it back, but this game has been close. Cousy surveying the floor as Baron Davis goes way under the screen and Cousy calls on his own number, and you already know that that shot is golden. What's crazy is, as Kobe takes the corner three, splash! Boston has so many options that it may not be Bob Cousy that takes over the game the next time we face Boston. It could very well be Larry Bird or Paul Pierce, maybe even Bill Russell. If it comes down to it, they just have so many weapons, you never know who's gonna have their night. And tonight, it's Bob Cousy with all of the big time plays, Larry Bird! 
on the wing. Number 33, knocking down a three. What a shot. Hopefully Baron sees what we're doing on the left because Larry got lost on the jab step and that jumper is good. Larry Bird now trying to answer back and he flops. I was nowhere near the man. At least not close enough to make that much contact with him. Baron missed both Kobe and I running down the side of the court. Unfortunately, we have to resort to our half court offense off of that five on four mismatch with Larry Bird lying down on the ground and that's just a bad shot. You still have to remember that Zerbo is a rookie. He's gonna make mistakes as Kemba goes to the spin cycle and up and around. Baron Davis for two. Zerbo with another horrible shot. Bill Russell just out rebounded Yao Ming. And here we go, Kemba to Jason Tatum for three. And it is good. 59 to 50. Baron now showing off some of the handles and Zerbo gets away clean using a great screen from Yao Ming. And this time Yao Ming just said, whatever you can do, I can do better. Wow. This game has everything. Three point battles. Big guys fighting for position. And here's Paul Pierce, four three wide open. The game is getting closer and closer. No lead is safe. Deladon has the ball and he decides to step back, feed it down low, but Larry Bird just baited the pass and he's running all on his own. Larry pulls up. It's no good. But Bill Russell, no, Jalen Brown stole it from Kobe, but Kobe rejected the man and Deladon finally gets the three pointer to fall. What a crazy sequence, and thankfully, it played out in our favor. But the ball is in Kuzi's hands, and he's made the right decision more often than not this game as Larry Bird fades away, knocking down a very difficult shot. Deladon is not a horrible defender, and he did pretty well against him, but Larry Bird, just better offense on that possession, and Zerbo! Cutting to the basket, Kobe finds him for another lob. That's the second one this game from Kobe Bryant. Tatum has the mismatch on Tom Chambers and he's going to take advantage of it. Going right to the basket and one count the basket. What a play. Tatum again has the ball, 68 to 64. They run the exact same play for Kuzi and he cuts the lead to one. With four minutes remaining, it's crunch time. It's time for big time players to make big time plays. Here's a screen. This is the lob that we've been getting all game long for Zerbo, but this time they were able to stop it. We have the mismatch on Kuzi and that's just too easy. Zerbo adding two more points to his total. Larry Bird takes a three and it is no good. Tom Chambers passes it up to Zerbo and we decide to slow it down because it looks like they're in good position to recover from that long rebound. Kobe now handling, giving it to the rookie and his three is money. That could very well be the dagger, but there is still plenty of time. Bryant has the ball, decides to pull up on Jalen Brown and that shot is good. What a play from Kobe Bean Bryant. Larry Bird again taking matters into his own hands, playing a lot of hero ball, but none of the shots are falling. Zerbo all the way to the basket and it is good. That's the dagger. Definitely the end of the game, 87 to 80. The final score, what a battle. This game was intense, but in the end, David Zerbo and your Charlotte Hornets take the victory against one of the most stacked teams in the league. Bob Cousy only had 19 points, but his three pointers were crucial for Boston. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.